Okay. Yeah, sorry for being late, but yeah, let's watch the live streaming proper this time. <laughs> this program is brought to you by the Inter Astro Peace Corporation. Oh god, not these birds again. Aw, <laughs> fucking Albert in an origami shape. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Black Swan Bird and Robin Bird? Uh. Cheap, cheap. <laughs> Oh my god, that's absolutely adorable. <laughs> I realize I'm like very behind in like by like 16, like three minutes, but yeah, I want to see everything. Oh, and yeah, here's C2.2 trailer. Okay. Panacone's Charmony Festival has entered its countdown phase. The singer I thought it started 8, honestly, and not started this early. But hey, Robin's here. She will release a new album. Oh shit, Boot Hill. I'm excited for him, honestly. He seems like he's gonna be a fun character. Everyone. Let's deal with these thugs first. Then we'll talk about how to deal with you. It's high noon. <laughs> oh, this music though. I like this. Oh yeah, of course he uses the power of America. And yeah, this is yeah the end of Panacone. You've arrived. Ah. It's time to step on stage. Of course, they're gonna play if my. Sh <laughs> Let my heart fancy sin. This is our final hope. Yeah, I'm so excited for Robin, honestly. And also, is this a real Panacone? feel like it is. And also, yeah, we have a Venturine's hat, as a lot of people speculated. Ah, oh, shit, Panacone's falling apart. Also, yeah, why is Jingwen and Bible Lune there? <laughs> then wake to sleep. Yeah, and I also am so glad we also have like the trailblazers like hats. Oh no, no, Aventurine's like hats on us. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead because uh, yeah, this is just a redemption code. I'll post it in chat later on, but yeah, let me just catch up for now. <laughs> As I was saying, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Allow me to extend my sincere greeting. Hey, to Albert. All our I don't know much about Albert actually because I haven't seen most of the uh, other special programs, but special program. I like his VA. <laughs> to weep. Long time no see, Albert. Also, what the fuck is that? Is that the new nice weekly vacation. boss? Oh, is that the Watchmaker's legacy? Fact, okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> I'll just Albert's listen in. Wonderful employee benefits. Word on the street is you managed. Hey, to Camden, let's go. <laughs> Oh, Director Aventurine, you flatter me. I just helped out a little. It was nothing, really. Why not reward yourself with an extra day or two? And also, yeah, Robin, uh, Robin's this VA Alice. Like, yeah, she's just judging by uh, seeing her on, her on her streams. She's such a sweetheart. She, she, she's really fun to watch. It's a pleasure to be here on the special program. I am Black Swan. A memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection. Hello, everyone. I'm a <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's your boy, Aventurine. Investment department. Hi, guys. I'm Robin. So happy to see everyone here. A warm welcome to each of our special guests. Oh, thanks, Albert. There sure were a lot of interesting details. I'll see you. Happy here. anniversary, Star Rail. <laughs> it's a pretty big lineup, isn't it? That dashing gunman at the beginning. Wonder what his deal is. Not to mention a certain brother and sister. <laughs> yeah. Glad to see Sunday and Robin after everything that's happened. <laughs> there was also a place that looked like an opera house. Is yeah, that that's... where the Germany Festival is being held? Ooh. Uh, or maybe that's a real Pentagon, who knows? So many guests from so many places. What will the story bring us next? Mm, perhaps we'll gain some insights into today's program. Oh, can't <laughs> wait. Hold on, Albert. Who exactly is being referred to in the version 2.2 title? Then wake to weep. 
Doesn't sound like a version filled with sunshine and rainbows. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> if anything, <laughs> Panacani has not uh, been wholesome. Anything but wholesome so far. I'm sure everybody is eager to uncover the truth behind the sweet dream. Since Miss Acheron split the family screen in Clock Studios theme park, it's obvious things aren't quite as safe as the family made them out to be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did anyone really believe them in the first place? Yeah, no, fam the family's uh, sus. No. Meanwhile, things seem to be heading in a more favorable direction for Mr. Aventurine. There's a secret within the family that goes deep. Also, yeah, please tell me we get to see Aventurine again. <laughs> But with the clues we have so far, things don't really add up, right? How do you mean, Miss Robin? For example, Firefly and I were attacked. But when we came to our senses, we didn't have a single scratch. What happened exactly? Also, I liked the VHS still you know, in character. <laughs> Dr. Ratio once told me that in a dream, it's not death that's impossible, but dormancy hmm a thought-provoking idea and let me remind you himiko deciphered a secret passage in the invitation to the charmony festival hmm. witness the impossible in the realm of dreams find the legacy of the watchmaker father of Penacote, and thus the answer to the question why does life slumber why does life slumber so in other words you need to enter an impossible dormancy within a dream only then can you pull back the curtain and get closer to the watchmaker's legacy dormancy within a dream is that like a dream within a dream <laughs> i think maybe there's another possibility could it be referring to the other side of the dream Yes. Just like Miss Acheron said at the end of version. <laughs> I just feel like if any new players like walked in on this, they'd, they'd just be so confused of, of like what's going on in the story. Oh, on that note, perhaps we could uncover some clues in version 2.2's new map, Dream Flux Reef. Oh, holy shit! Can anyone guess what the connection might be? Hmm. Taking the name and wow, value, whoa! It's a reef. This place looks, looks pretty. Flows past. If the dreamscape can flow like water... Also, yes, yeah, he's much darker than the rest of Panacani. Could there really be a deeper level to the dreamscape? Could there indeed? Trailblazers will have to discover the... Ah! Whoa, whoa! That's a scary-ass fucking clocky statue. <laughs> Holy shit. Require ways and means. In version 2.2's main storyline... The Fool the always fool rings always twice. twice. Yup, the uh, end of the Panacani arc. And then 2.3 is going to be the epilogue. Friends. And let's not forget, the Charmony Festival has also entered the countdown phase. The curtain will soon rise before guests from across the cosmos. Uh, the Charmony Festival. The family's guaranteed security has fallen to pieces. Still, they've done a good job keeping the truth under wraps. I'm curious to see what happens next. Mm. <laughs> they say this Charmony Festival is set to be a grand spectacle, and that a special talent show is going to be held to build up the hype. The talent show, known as the Festivity Auditions, is Holy shit, this place looks insane. <laughs> and will take place at the moment of Scorch Sand. The moment of scorched sand. Wait, that, wait isn't that the, the, the film studio that, that they're in right now? That is that's cool. Flavored soul glad, and the atmosphere is second to none. Whew, that's right. This place was once devastated by the invasion of memes, but became the site devastated of by the invasion of memes. <laughs> reconstruction. The family holds these auditions here from time to time to select Penacone's next festive superstar. As you can see, it comes. Holy shit! This is, this entire area lists. looks so cool looking. Stage effects, you name it. We guarantee the most unforgettable experience for. What the? Why is there a giant fucking unexpected. unfixed clock? <laughs> In version 2.2, Trailblazers will need to join the contest with their companions and earn the title of festive superstar. No, oh, so you have to win the contest if you want to join the Charmony Festival. Wait, really? No I thought we could just join no matter what. Galactic baseballer is the Damn, family just changing up the rules no again. Where they go. So, 
How do the festivity auditions work, exactly? Pass all the audition stages and earn the superstar title for a chance to venture into the Charmony Festival's main venue, the Pentacony Grand Theater. That's right. The Grand Theater Oh, yeah, the Grand Theater, the right. Recognizable landmark. If you win the title of Festive Superstar, you can take... That sounds like where the, like the boss is going to take place. The Charmony Festival. <laughs> really? Does the winner get to perform on the same stage as you, Robin? What do you say, Miss Robin? Yeah, holy shit, all, all these maps are so cool looking. <laughs> if I didn't have so much overtime, I could attend myself. <laughs> Trailblazers! I'll be there with you in spirit. Don't mess it up. Yeah, now. there's like three new areas so far. Like they're going all out with this update, it seems. The scene we just saw. What were all those strange looking characters in the theater? Watch who you're calling strange looking. <laughs> yeah, so I saw new enemies there as well. Personnel. Like the ones Boot Hill was Is fucking wrong? shooting. The opening ceremony is just around the corner. There's still a lot of preparation to do. Well, they're unique, I'll give them that. It seems like some of them are holding glasses. Whoa. Others are oh, more soul glad enemies. Nice. What the heck? <laughs> those are what are those involved. enemies? The members of the Sweet Dreams troop, and they'll be playing an important role in the Charmony Festival. I see. They look a little on edge. Uh, perhaps they look like they can the kill me. Final of the auditions. Stage fright is serious, you know. Wait, I, I thought the Trailblazer was supposed to win. <laughs> Director Adventurine, you're a sharp one, all right. Let's just say that anything is possible. <laughs> no spoilers. Next, let's introduce the leading roles who will feature at the Charmony Festival. Yep, Robin and Boohill, let's go. God, she looks so pretty. <laughs> Wait, is that a burst? Oh my god, if that's her burst, then I'm gonna be just <laughs> spamming it all the time. Firstly, we have the singer Robin, whose beauty and talent are known throughout the cosmos. I'm sure Miss Robin. Yeah, physical no harmony Robin. and her gentle elegance as a singer has earned her countless fans. Apparently a follow-up buffer, <laughs> so I think I need to get her. We still have plenty to improve on. Oh, God, she like so yeah, she looks so so pretty. So also, know, Miss Robin, I'm a fan too. I never noticed before, but she looks so like she's in a birdcage, which is oddly kind of fitting. The oil. Because I guess she's a little Robin. My weary soul, the voice as soft as a feather. <laughs> yeah, it may have to buy that pass for, from PlayStation Stars to uh get my get to get her. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> The opportunity to see you here today is worth all the overtime in the world. You're certainly worthy of the limelight, Miss Robin. But I can't help but feel that you're a bird in a cage. <laughs> Literally. Look, look at I her. Say, someone who's ready to spread their wings. Are we all, Miss Black Swan? Sometimes every bird is trapped in a cage, yearning <laughs> to fly free and, and soar into the. Uh, all right, Albert. <laughs> I bet you know all about that, Albert. No, <laughs> Calm down there. The business. <laughs> From the letter Miss Robin gave to Mr. Sunday, we learned that during the preparations for the festival, she was the first to notice anomalies in Pentacone. Right. And, and then she died to, to willingly go into the other side of Pentacone. She suffered an accident and became a victim of death. But seeing how Firefly has reunited with the Trailblazer, I'm sure that death isn't the end of the story for her. Spoilers for those who haven't played 2.1. Secrets are sure to unfold in the 2.2 story. But for now, let's take a look at Miss Robin's battle credentials. About time. Well, I'm a physical type character, following the path of harmony. My technique allows me to create a dimension around myself. Okay. Any enemies within this dimension follow me without Ooh. attacking. Oh, what? <laughs> they they follow you without attack. Oh, that means you can, like, group enemies up that way. Energy. And then fight Even them all at the same time. That's actually really useful. By Miss Robin's star status. <laughs> God, yeah, I need Robin. Day is working in sync with my team. Offering support and buffs to everyone. Take my skill, for example. Which enhances the total That's just a skill? inflicted by our team. 
or my talent, which allows me to regenerate additional energy whenever my allies attack enemies. And as a cosmic songstress, Miss Robin also Yeah, her skills look so beautiful so far. Combat. When using her ultimate, Miss Robin belts out a morale yeah, look at that. number and enters a performative state. This state allows all allies to immediately take action. Yeah, I've heard of this. It's it's kind of hard to avoid, but Everyone she literally sings the whole time again. when you use her ultimate. Miss Robin is full of surprises. Which I think and is so cool. It's it's an actual now, song as well. I love lifting spirits. When my ultimate is in play, I inflict additional damage on the enemy after each ally attack. Plus, I'm immune to crowd control debuffs. What? There's no oh, really now? You fully embody the path of harmony. So she legit cannot be harmed while her ultimate's up. That's that's actually quite busted, actually. Yeah, I'll skip the next intermission the when it comes. To transmit feelings and resonate energy through my halo. And considering she's on with uh, Aventurine, Tobas and Ratio, yeah, she's gonna be a, to like a follow-up buffer. I mean, we can't be asking you to go into battle every time we want to hear it. As a matter of fact, our audience is also very curious about Miss Robin's other songs. If I can stop one heart from breaking, for instance. Don't worry, don't worry! Miss Robin's upcoming album oh. is right around the corner. She even took the opportunity to put together a special video for her fans. Mm? Play the tape! Oh, wait, we actually get a special video of Robin? Oh, play it. Hello, everyone. This is Robin. <laughs> new album, Inside, will be released This looks like <laughs> Robin VTuber. Holy shit. I'm going with you this time. Life is filled with worries and sorrows. But I hope that while listening to my songs, you can let go of them for a while. Long time no see. I'm oh, well, Sir Raul, okay. <laughs> the Bellabogian band, Mechanical Fever. Miss Robin's new album is about These also look like VTubers, honestly. I really look forward to seeing what kind of tunes she'll be releasing this time. Finally, on behalf of all the Bellabogian fans, I'd like to ask, can you come to Bellabog for your tour? Hello, everyone. Oh, Sunday I'm as well. Sunday, <laughs> representative of the family in Penacone. As a follower of the Harmony, Robin's powerful singing spreads harmonious melodies to all worlds. She is the family's pride and joy. I am delighted that her new album, Inside. Also, ignore what I did to Venturine. Yeah, that 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 that, 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 that didn't happen. I am very grateful for all the support that Robin receives. Thank you. TikTok. Oh God, <laughs> Clocky and Hanu. Representative to announce Robin's new album. Miss <laughs> Robin's voice is the most beautiful in the universe. <laughs> The sound of her voice is so powerful. <laughs> Let's out a cool grunt. Let's all make sure to show our support for her newest album. <laughs> her. Hey, check this Great knife in the well. Holy shit. I mean, I guess this is the anniversary. It's only fitting. Well, Gray is here to tell everyone that it'll definitely be amazing. You do not want to miss out. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, be, be sure you follow what she says. Like and subscribe right now. Who the hell is this? Okay, this was uh, this is somebody not in Star Rail. What's up, everyone? Jake Miller here. I heard Miss Robin. Oh yeah, Jake Miller. Song. He's so the one who sang White Knight. Her songs always bring many surprises, so let's look forward to her album together. And I can't wait. See ya. Bye. Yeah, who are all these people? <laughs> if somebody could fill me in on who they are, I'd be gladly appreciated. I think, yeah, one of these guys is like Robin's Japanese VA, maybe. Or maybe the music composers. Maybe. Also, yeah, just judging by how much you're talking about it, it seems like it's going to be like an actual Star Rail album with Robin singing. I'm kind of looking forward to that, not going to lie. <laughs> Thank you all for your support. Today, I brought some demos of the songs for you to listen to first. Oh, let's hear them. Uh, of course, this is in there. Soaring across the night to face the final line. Sway my beat. Whoa. Yeah, these are all like actual songs. Oh, 
Oh shit. Well, there goes all my songs in the Spotify playlist. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they actually made a full on album for actual Robin. If you like the demos, feel free to leave me a comment. I look okay, yeah, I'm listening to that album <laughs> as soon as it comes out. Yeah, these don't seem like the songs will be in the game. Maybe they will be, but who knows? Can we fast forward to May 9th already? I'm grateful for all the support to accompany the album. It's honestly, yeah, surprising that they actually made a full on album for Robin. Lovely melodies from all over the cosmos. Okay. Now that we've I bet I'm gonna bet all the music slaps in it. Oh, yeah, Boot Hill. Then Boot Hill. Let's see him. I feel like he's gonna be, I don't know, like a silly character. <laughs> oh yeah, it's high noon. <laughs> Fuck off, IPC. God, he seems kind of badass, honestly. I would get him, but Fireflies in the next patch. Is that his burst? Holy shit, that's such a cool looking burst. <laughs> and the version 2.1. We heard this mysterious Boot Hill. over the phone. He's currently on his way over. Who is this Boot Hill? And where does he come from? <laughs> Glad you asked. Allow me to introduce him. Boot Hill is a Galaxy Ranger with a pretty yeah, the actual Galaxy Ranger, not <laughs> not Acheron. Like muddle fudger, son of a nice lady. <laughs> son of a nice little lady. <laughs> Aside from being a Galaxy Ranger, Boot Hill is also a wild and unpredictable interstellar cowboy, a regular on the IPC's wanted list. Even so, I don't know anything about Boot Hill's kill actually, so I want to see this. Resolve several serious incidents. Sounds like he's someone who plays both sides. Skirting the line, but Sarah got power crept. Precise. I mean, true, she was like the only one who was like an actual song, and now Robin has like a whole album. Was put in his place at Penacone's Reverie Hotel when the front desk told him he couldn't check in. Galaxy Ranger, I think I know why he wasn't allowed to stay. Oh, because Penacone already had another Galaxy Ranger checked in, who wasn't actually a Galaxy Ranger. That's why Boot Hill decided to visit the Astral Express, hoping to get some help from the Nameless. I see. But he's visiting the Express Hong directly, Hong huh? The only ones currently on board the Express. Ooh, what's gonna happen? <laughs> <sighs> Halbert's favorite part of the show is not telling us stuff. Not true. <laughs> Let's take a look at what Boot Hill can do on the battlefield. Yeah, show me his animations. He seems sick, galaxy. honestly. Boot Hill has his own. Oh yeah, fucking philosophy. giant leg kick. He targets a single enemy with his skill. And right, because he's a hunt character. During the duel, Boot Hill taunts the enemy, thereby enhancing his own basic attack. Both parties in the duel suffer increased damage from each other. Oh. Wow. A duel? I thought that only. That's a cool skill. Movies. Boot Hill prefers a straightforward approach to resolving conflicts. And this is Also, I love the hat like covering his eye. That, that's cool. Every time target is defeated or their weakness is broken. So you do more net damage to one target. But With they Boot can do Hill more damage to Boot Hill too. Interesting. Physical weakness on the enemy. Oh yeah, it shows burst. And delays the target. Oh, that's a, such a sick looking burst. <laughs> There's even a picture of the enemy on the Boom. Logging onto the target. Oh, I would get him honestly, but precision. man, it's tough being Such an F2P in Star Rail. Cowboy. Boot Hill's technique allows him to inflict physical weakness on the enemy the first time he uses his skill after entering combat. Oh, really? Wow. The power of a so it's like Silver Ranger. Wolf for like the first few turns. Them at their own game. That's cool. And duels, yeah, I love the way he Boot fucking Hill's stands as well. He seems so badass. I want him. I want him and Robin, I, but I also want Firefly and Jade. And by problems... This may be where I break my F2P status, guys. <laughs> this may be where I break my F2P status. When you're on every other wanted list, you've got to get things done by hook or by crook. I see. By hook or crook. <laughs> so, being a cowboy and all, does Boot Hill order milk when he's at the bar? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I think you've taken the cow part too literally, Miss Robin. 
Malt juice. I yeah, I also I honestly would get him, but Fireflies in literally next update, and so is Jade. I want all these five stars, but his fighting skills within mechanical upgrades. For someone that's 90% machine, I'd say malt juice is the least of his concerns. Okay, so he is wow, he's a cyborg, okay. I guess we knew that already, but 90% machine, damn. One who set to give a spectacular performance at the Charmony Festival. It's the one and only Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus. Oh shit. Oh yeah, this is the weekly boss. Whoa. Whoa, okay. What's he called again, the Septimus? Uh, you said they're also performing at the Charmony Festival? Correct. Uh, yeah. Are you sure they're not aiming to sabotage the festival? Are you sure they're not uh, there to kill everybody at the festival? Who you're teaming up with. Good thing our trailblazer is an adaptable individual. To ensure this show goes off without a hitch. I brought along some detailed intel on Harmonious Choir. I hope he's not harder than the Beetle, like the, the, the blue battle, fucking Harmonious propagation guy. Choir, the Great Septimus charges and unleashes semi chorus, which allows all of its active summons to inflict damage on us. Yeah, those attacks battle. look like they hurt. In the second phase of battle, after charging up, the he great hits fucking Septimus everybody chorus with that attack. That, oh allies. god. Plus, Am I dreading how difficult this guy's gonna be? Summons will also deal extra damage to all allies. During the second also, phase, hey, that's... The great Septimus casts What's that? Is that... Oh, is that showing what, how much shield's on, like, which character? Oh, you have allies, a collective shield. Their own toughness impervious that's kinda cool. Okay, at least it gives us a... What? Phase. He's weak to everything? In the third phase, this formidable uh -oh. blow becomes even stronger. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Defense ignoring attacks that deal massive the fuck damage is that? to all allies. Oh, nice. A challenging adversary. Yeah, not, no, not nice. The, this, so, <laughs> this seems dangerous. Also, yeah, he's weak to like every element. Oh, only during the last phase, probably. Break the yeah. Weaknesses of the great Septimus and its summons. Once all the summons' weaknesses are broken. The great Septimus won't be able to use his semi chorus ability. <laughs> he just looks at them with disappointment. Reduced. Breaking the great Septimus weakness will also grant a shared shield to all allies. Ah, that's okay. I think about it. This version's promotional artwork gave some pretty strong hints on all this. I see. It seems that this was meant to be the Charmony Festival's main act all along. Oh, poor trailblazers. <laughs> Did you think you were coming to Panacone for a vacation? Is this what people mean when they say... Yeah, bro thinks he's, he's Adam, yeah. Broken? <laughs> With that fucking finger touching. Why can't I see a baseball bat? There's no flaming lance either. Just a hat. <laughs> yup, trailblazer <laughs> harmony. Yes, we have the day. We've only covered the basics. There's much more for trailblazers to explore and get to grips with. After completing the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission, yep, they are an Echo War. War salutations of Ash oh, they also Green dropped the become available. Duke Inferno said, okay. To obtain Boot Hill's advanced trace level up material, Lost Echo of the Shared Wish. Trailblaze oh, wait, so it, is it just for Boot Hill or does Robin use it too? Echo of War rewards. And heads up, he just only said Boot Hill, so I'm assuming it's just him. Trace level up material is. Past evils of the borehole planet disaster. <laughs> Make sure you don't go chasing the wrong materials. Next up. Hey, there we go. There's the banners. Okay, so the beetle for Robin. Robin and, Robin and Nunfi. I already have Topaz and Nunfi, so I'm going to be pulling for Robin. Also, Shwain Hanya. Ooh, I do want to get Shwain Edelons. Topaz and Numbi. And second, uh, uh, yep, light cones as well. Five -star light cone. Oh, hey, that's a new Limited light cone. I haven't seen that one before. Limited light cone. Worrisome, blissful. Will be boosted. In two points. Yep, and Boothill and Fushuan. I already have her, so I'm good on that, but Boothill might cost me some trouble. Pela, Luca, and and uh Hook. Did Luca just get a rear? <laughs> Wasn't Luca just featured on a banner? Oh whoa. Look at that light cone for Boothill. 
and the light cone. She already shut her eyes. Will be. Oh, he busted. seems so sad. It looks like Boot Hill is in the middle of another mechanical upgrade. And it seems like he already shut his eyes too. Uh. <sighs> and I Bad joke, <laughs> <forgot> <laughs> <to> <laughs> Venturine. Yeah, okay, this. Oh, wow. The, the, the Acheron Black Swan dancing light cone. Included in this warp. Is that Acheron dancing with Black Swan? Outfits. Let's go, gay light cone. This time, what happened? Some memories are better left <laughs> unexplored. <laughs> time for a short break. In just a few moments, <laughs> we'll be introducing version 2.2's brand new events. Okay, so this is intermission. I'll just skip ahead to uh. Bacon. Okay. So I should be mostly caught up. <laughs> Also, yeah, this artwork, though, with Boot Hill and Robin, so good. Also, yeah, don't forget to claim your redemption codes. I'll post them later on uh, in the community everyone. tab. Time to dive straight into version 2.2's events. Yeah, I'm only, like, one minute behind, so it should be too, too bad. Clocky Dream Joy Memoir. As you may remember in the 2.1 storyline, <laughs> the screen at Clock Studios theme park was split in two to restore the park to its former glory. Trailblazers must take on the crucial task of repairing the screen. Oh, Wait, what? We have to? It wasn't the Trailblazers who broke the screen. And if I'm not mistaken, the screen wasn't the intended target, was it, Mr. Aventurine? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the name is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about that. Yeah, let's ignore it. Screen fixing spirit. In the Clocky Dream Joy Memoir event, Trailblazers what the why does this guy have a clocky head? <laughs> films that do well in test screenings. Also, yeah, free light cone in this event. Box office revenue and attract investment. This money will go towards fixing the screen that was damaged. Can we try filming the whole thing in a single shot? Miss Robin, I'm afraid not every actor is cut out for that approach. <laughs> As a professional international piece, <laughs> yeah, she's just standing there eating the peach like she didn't do like anything. Just like, oh, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> In this artistic undertaking, the key to editing is the effective use of the time dice. By allocating the time dice to different scenes, it will bring about changes in the audience's emotional responses. Thrilling, comedic, or dramatic. Okay. Each film must achieve certain key objectives to pass the internal screen. <laughs> oh no, Clocky is dead. He's fucking dead. <laughs> Trailblazers will also have the opportunity to create commercials. Create Kermer Oh God, to we're gonna be making ads, folks. Characters. <laughs> exactly. Successfully editing a classic ending grants you side character spin. Oh God, editing? Deals. Don't tell. Don't say that to me. <laughs> corresponding extra stories. From mixology. To God, hope it doesn't take long as the my actual editing. <laughs> once again, unlocked new skills in Penacony. But isn't this more like editing than directing? <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it that way. During the oh, see, what's process, that light cone? I'm trying to get a better look at a it. Chance to experiment with different plot directions, and might end up with an ending that's completely different from the original storyline. Great stories often originate from notable historic events. You could even regard movies as a type of visual memory, weaving together threads of memories to create one complete tale. It's quite impressive. Agreed. And after finishing the specified mission, oh wait, oh that's not the light cone showing, or was it? Light cone for, tomorrow's for tomorrow's journey. tomorrow's journey. Oh, it's a harmony light cone. It looks like a story that took place at some point. On okay, so it might be like an F2P Robin oh, option. Oh, they're toasting and celebrating with nameless of the past. Yesterday. Oh yeah, I just noticed Pom Pom right here. <laughs> and while the conductor's companions may have changed, the trailblaze never ceases. Moving on, let's delve into the domain. Oh god, the legend of the, of the galactic, galactic baseballer. Baseball. <laughs> by Giovanni, the legend yeah. of the galactic baseballer. <laughs> I like how it's like it's supposed to be like the trailblazer, but like it's like, yeah, rac yeah, raccoon oh, stell slash raccoon Kalos is real. That's right. Confirmed. The, the trailblazers are raccoons. Giovanni has decided to sponsor our brand new game. Giovanni again? Pentacody. God, that guy gets around, doesn't he? The vast cosmos, the strongest baseball. Yeah, he was there for the uh, to find this bat, the, the like Pokemon event, I believe. Home, embarking on an extensive search to locate the treasure. There are many factions interested in this bat, and the Galactic Baseballer, 
must endure many <laughs> challenges and defeat many foes. Please tell me it's like an actual arcade game. It seems that in every battle wave, the trail. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. I don't have Ron May game. Baseballer needs to defeat as many enemies as possible, gain experience, and level up their team. Precisely. Loves a team. Whoa, okay, this is different. One of three random weapons or accessories. The weapons help our baseballer defeat enemies, while the accessories grant buffs to weapons or characters. Every weapon has a corresponding resonant accessory. <laughs> it's like an RPG almost. To focus on leveling up weapons first. Oh, get, get, well, again, sorry, it's such a JRPG. Weapon, but... And if in possession of its resonant accessory, the weapon can be leveled up to a legendary weapon, which greatly increases the galactic baseballer's fighting capabilities. This event seems fun. Complete each planet's challenges. Earn raccoon tokens to enhance your raccoon tokens. And accumulate cosmic <laughs> reputation. Really embracing the uh, trailblazers of raccoon theory. The little raccoons in this event are so cute, and each planet has its unique charm. Just looking at them makes me want to. We join love the our fun. adorable little trash pandas in here. Guess, make a prediction. Will the galactic baseballer get their hands on the ultimate baseball bat? <laughs> I think the name Galactic Baseballer might be a giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Almost like a Seth Rogen our laugh next there. Event is called. All about Boot Hill. Oh, oh what? <laughs> An event Wait, dedicated to him? How exactly will everything be showcased? Holy shit, is that his bounty? Segment, we've adopted a seven profile approach. Seven hundred million? But what the fuck? How, how wanted Whatever is this man? That Boot Hill has recently been involved in some major heists. With many entities, including the space station, suffering losses. I hear the IPC and others are planning to put a bounty on his head. With so hmm. many assignments available, I'd say it's a great chance to make a profit. Are we, wait, are we trying to catch Boot Hill? Thinks the Trailblazers are well suited to the job and wants to recommend them to the IPC. Oh. The trailblazers are joining the IPC? Uh, Never mind, this seems like it's just an expedition event. Okay. <laughs> I thought we're actually gonna go ahead and like fight Boot Hill, but just just send your characters. I thought this event seemed exciting, but until it's just shown just like yeah, you just send your characters and then you just know more shit about Boot Hill. It's not the most exciting uh, events, but all right. I won't say no to free jades. Version 2.2 presumably also has the nail biting. The hair. Oh, free temple again. <laughs> Genshin could never. Let's also not forget that version 2.2 will be introducing Shape of Duty Stagnant Shadow. Successfully completing this challenge. Oh, there's a new boss as well. Essential materials, IPC work permit for Robin and Boot Hill. Oh, them for both of them. Okay. The I mean, true, they're both Boot physical. And the IPC. I'm glad they're letting us know like their I materials ahead say, of time. This assumption material is very specific. No they don't usually talk about like the materials on stream, but I'm glad they're doing it now, just so I know what to farm. Bang, bang, bang! 65 gunshots later. He was back out again with 65 work permits. Yeah. <laughs> for his own personal enhancement. The IPC work permit is only used by senior I love Robin. employees. <laughs> Mr. Albert, do you have one? You're a senior employee? Uh, me? Well, I, senior is a big word, but I suppose I... Uh... <laughs> All right, we get it. Now... Calix Butter the Hunt will also be available in version Oh yeah, okay. Calx for <laughs> Boot Hill. There's already a Harmony Calx in Pentaconi, so... Double events, planar fishing, yeah, and Robin should use those ones. Are also back. Successfully challenging the hey, more, more shit. <laughs> double the trash from the Simi Universe. Rewards. Oh hey, and more sure Calxes as well. Challenge, Actually, welcome that. Up next is the third redemption code. Alrighty, third redemption code means I'm gonna skip ahead to like the present time, probably. As well as oh shit, okay, I, I skipped too far. <laughs> Hang on, let me go back a bit here. Okay, yeah, don't worry, I I'll post all three redemption codes in the chat down below once I do get them. Welcome back, folks! Let's get into a few system optimizations, shall we? First up! 
A new function that shows battle records has been added to the Trailblazer profile page. Meanwhile, on the friendless interface, you can now see the real-time status of your friends and find out what they're currently up to. Oh, for example, sweet, I can fuck my friends. Hell yeah. The universe, the forgotten hall, etc. That's right. And this this change means nothing to me because I'm <laughs> I have no friends. <laughs> as well as display your own lineups to your friends. Naturally, this is an optional function that can be turned on or off at will. Version 2.2 will also bring in an improved team setup function. Oh Which shit! Easier for trailblazers. Oh, please uh, give us more team setups as well. Steps. I need more There's than nine, also honestly. To tag characters, which ensures that tag hey, bookmark feature. That's welcome. That that stuff was already in Genshin, but uh, I'm glad it's coming in this game. will be able to prioritize their most frequently used and favorite characters. All time is money. That should make going into battle all the more convenient. Expect continuous improvements to the team setup function in future versions. Stay tuned, Trailblazers. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, uh, the digital more? version of the Ultimate Trailblazer's Guide to Pentacony is officially out. The book includes behind-the-scenes stories of the Star Rail team creating Pentacony, exclusive interviews with the animated shorts team, huh. and features original artwork from the shorts, a flash, and icor of two dragons. Trailblazers can view it on the official website or download the PDF. Oh, version. so it's like a little behind-the-scenes book. Oh, okay, nice. let me give it a, a look. Awesome content. Is it really all for free? You better believe it. <laughs> In that case, I'll be taking this treasured memory with me. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of all right, the end. Man, this is such a stacked program. update. So, man, I can't wait. To yeah, I can't wait for 2.2 to come festival. out. And when does it come out again? Like two weeks from now? One week? No, actually, until like 10 days, I believe. I hope that when the truth comes to light, the gentle sun will shine upon all of Panacone. Here's wishing another very happy birthday to the Astral Express. I eagerly await our next encounter. Same here. I'd like to say a big Here's to next year's anniversary. <laughs> and a final reminder to all Trailblazers. Don't forget to log in and claim your 1600 stellar Don't forget to yes, claim your free temple. From your mailbox. And, and also 10 fuel. Well, and truly a wrap. See you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Fare thee well. Man, that was a go to live stream, honestly. Wait, what's this? Oh. Uh. Huh? Wait, I... Oh, right! Oh? <clears throat> I have one... Oh, yeah, Jazz Knight Sparkle, me. yeah. Panacone's dream abduction case is soon to hit the screen. Sparkle Star Rail Jazz Knife is coming up on the Hoyo Fair channel following this program. Ladies and gentlemen, run for your lives. <laughs> run for your lives. <laughs> Honestly, I do want to see that, actually. But alrighty, that is where we wrap it up for, yep, the Honkai Star Rail special program. Man, what a goaded update, though. Holy shit. Okay, so a new trail based quest. Uh, first phase will be. Topaz and Robin. Second half is Boot Hill and Fuxuan. And then, yeah, we got a new, like, tons of new events. As well as a Robin album coming out soon. Like, an actual full-on album. Uh, yeah, they didn't show Harmony Trailblazer, but I am assuming we're going to see it in-game. So, shouldn't matter too much. But damn, what a goaded fucking livestream. I know I was a bit late to it, but still, I enjoyed it nonetheless. Also, hang on, let me go to Hoya Fair right now, see if, um... Let me see here. Oh, it's actually debuting right now. I guess we could give this one a watch if you guys really want to. I might as well, right? Yeah, they, they've been teasing this like animated short for a while now. Or just live events. Uh, was Trailblazer wearing a Venturine's hat? I think I think uh, they were, yeah. I think they were both wearing like a Venturine's hat. Also, damn, was that... Oh, wow. <laughs> These are some really, really good-looking artworks of Robin. Oh, my boy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, Rob... Uh, Sunday, sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at the all these artworks. Holy moly. 
Oh yeah, and they're like advertising, I think like almost real drinks in this. Uh, don't think I'll watch this per se. To Albert Braid. <laughs> right, the, um, hmm, should I watch this? It just seems like this thing is just gonna play over and over again. So maybe I'll just unmute when it begins. But yes, uh, so yeah, pretty much everything in 2.2 is like, yeah, Trailblaze quests, new banners, and the event looks kind of fun to play, and obviously we got Robin and Boo Hill to look forward to. Also, I just realized that's Firefly, not Robin. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure what to do, because I, I just pulled Aventurine, uh, and I do want, I do want Robin, I do want Boot Hill. Boot Hill looks honestly fun to play. I might skip him, but I'm gonna do so sadly. Oh damn, that Akron shot though. Looks really good. Um, but yeah, Firefly's coming in 2.2 and so is Jade. And I do want to complete like my IPC team lineup. So I might get Jade. I will definitely be getting Firefly. I do want to get Robin. And Boot Hill is a hard maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe I need to buy that, um, like, Star Rail Pass thing from uh, PlayStation Stars after all. <clears throat> but yeah, there you go, guys. The end of the 2.2 special program. What are you guys' thoughts on it? And yeah, who are you pulling in 2.2 when it does come out? I believe this event, like, yeah, 2.2 comes out in like 10 days from now. So I'll definitely be there day one to pull for Robin. And to also, um, yeah, play the 2.2 Trailblaze mission live. But yeah, cannot wait for that. But alrighty, let me just go ahead and just, uh, yeah, stop the recording right here.